What's up guys? Despite the fact that I couldn't find any good rush strategy from top teams demos, I decided to make one on my own. This is a pretty simple 3-2 split, where you rush middle with 3 men and the apartment with 2 guys. It's pretty risky, but it's gonna work against the standard city defense, where there are 2 guys watching middle from the city connector area. Alright, let's go! Player with the best spawn rushes middle and casts a flashbang so that it blinds an opera and stops any city push. Next, he casts a nade on the middle and throws the smoke from behind the car. This smoke completely covers left middle area. Then he flashes Lord's spot and pushes towards bomb site. Player number 2 casts a nade on the banana to slow down a possible city push. Then he crouches behind this barrel and throws a pop flash on the left mid. After that, he positions himself here and throws the smoke to cut off any city defending the bomb site from the library and watches his teammates back. Third spawn goes the second mid, nades the window and rushes fast toward the apartments. He checks the Lord's spot and flashes the big pit twice from above the roof. This is the most critical moment in the whole strategy, because this player is pretty exposed, which is why until he cuts those two flashes, uh, player number 1 and 2 have to cover for him. After that he attacks the bomb site. Player number 4 rushes the second middle and nades the apartments as well. He runs until he reaches this spot, watches for a few seconds if there is any CT at the back of the carpet side, and casts two flashes and one smoke on this wall. The smoke will allow him and player number 5 to safely jump to the big pit, whereas the two flashes blind the bomb site and the prison. Last spawn heads towards the second mid and smokes this spot. This smoke will definitely annoy the defending CTs, because in order to hold the bomb site area, they will be forced to expose themselves rather than camp inside the bomb site. It will also give the cover to those terrorists who attack from middle for it makes it harder for the CT placed in the big pit to see them. Now as usual I have prepared few important tips on how to execute this strategy successfully and to give you some background. First of all, don't forget about the timing. Guys in the carpet side must wait until the flashes on big pit will be thrown and attack immediately after. Their main task is to clear out the big pit area. Secondly, players number 1 and 3, who attacks from the Lord's position, must watch out for any counter flashes. Their main task is to kill everyone inside the bomb site so that they can plant the bomb. Third, player number 2 has to be aware of any CT pushing from the banana. Therefore, he can relocate to this one after it's no longer occupied by the fourth player. That's it for now, guys. I wish you good luck with executing this strategy. Remember that each team has its own gaming style and it might not work against everybody. Practice it hard, adjust it to your team style and let me know how it worked. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.